Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a quick tip on how to make your camera an orthographic camera. So orthographic cameras are different from perspective cameras because an orthographic such as uh, front view 5 gives us a 2D representation of 3D space. There is no perspective. In other words, the lines, you can see the grid, the lines are converging, whereas if we were to go out of orthographic view, the lines converge to a point. And so sometimes you want to have that. So let me just show you how to do that. It's really simple. You just select your camera, right click your camera, go to the camera tab, and all you do is under lens change it from perspective to orthographic and you can see your camera gets really big and if you press zero on the numpad you now have a orthographic cube so that's just a quick tip on how to do that you can change the scale of the camera uh, you can still do all the things with depth of field and all that but there just will not be any perspective. You can see as I go in and out of it, the lines go from being parallel to converging. So now let's talk about some of the movement options we have with the orthographic camera. So you might notice that if you try to go to if you try to zoom using middle mouse button, it actually doesn't do anything. You can't move the camera back and forth in 3D space. It doesn't actually change what you see it honestly is a 2D representation of 3D space. You can move it, you can press G and move it side to side, but you can't really move it front and back. So to do that, you would change the orthographic scale to zoom in and out. Notice how everything still stays parallel. It just basically changes the scale of what you see. Um, yeah, so that, that would be how you do that. And if you wanted to do something like a camera zoom, what you would do is press I to keyframe it and then move it to where you wanted it to be and then I again and then you'd have something like a zoom out or something like that but again uh, all the other keyframing works the same all the other depth of field options work the same it's just that aspect okay this has been how to use the orthographic camera in Blender. Thank you for watching.